Hi, John Stianazen here, leader of the Democratic Alliance. On the 6th of August, President Saul Ramaphosa announced the appointment of a six-member cabinet committee to deal with all allegations of corruption related to the COVID-19 procurement. The DA is hesitant to trust or support this development for a number of reasons. We know that President Ramaphosa has made several promises to deal with corruption in his party and his government, all to no avail. On the 23rd of March, at the start of our lockdown, President Ramaphosa vowed to South Africans that profiteering from the COVID-19 pandemic would not be tolerated. Yet, not four months later, and the ANC Secretary General, former cabinet ministers, and even the president's own spokesperson and his son are facing allegations of pocketing multi-million rand PPE tenders. All while ordinary South Africans have lost their jobs and gone hungry. You and I both know that dealing with corruption is merely a game to the ANC. When someone is found guilty, they receive a slap on the wrist and are merely moved to a party or government position where the ANC hopes that South Africa will soon forget about them. We've seen as well that former mayor of Etigwene, Zandile Gomede, who was removed from her position last year in the face of charges of tender fraud to the value of 400 million rand, was sworn in as a member of the KwaZulu-Natal legislature. She now earns a salary of 1.1 million rand per year. What has the ANC done about her corruption? They've rewarded her with more of your money. I don't think this is what it means to put your money where your mouth is. President Ramaphosa's COVID-19 corruption committee means absolutely nothing if the ANC does not practice what it preaches. And what makes this committee even more questionable is that it is not independent, but comprised entirely of ANC cabinet ministers. In essence, the ANC is not being investigated, the ANC is investigating itself. The President's Corruption Committee, therefore, has absolutely zero credibility. Now, where the DA governs, we pride ourselves on transparency and accountability. Western Cape Premier Alan Windy and his entire provincial cabinet recently received clean lifestyle audits by an independent firm, Nexus Forensic Services. Western Cape MEC for Finance, David Mania, published the Provincial Procurement Disclosure Report, which highlights in great detail how every cent of taxpayer money has been spent in the province with regards to the COVID-19 PPE procurement. And Ratings Africa recent Municipal Finance Sustainability Index revealed that the Western Cape is the best run province in the country, with the DA-led Mossel Bay municipality being ranked as the best run municipality in the whole of South Africa. The DA takes transparency and accountability seriously. We do not tolerate corruption at all, even if addressing allegations among our own members means sustaining reputational damage. Because you deserve a country run by a government that does not steal from the poor and continues to pay the rich wearing black, green and gold. On Thursday this week, I will be in Parliament to ask President Ramaphosa the questions that our nation demands to be answered to get to the bottom of the ANC's continuing corruption. Now I know that we're tired of talking and hearing about corruption in our country. But if we do not press on and hold government to account, we merely give the ANC a permission slip to steal our lives and livelihoods from us and bring about the collapse of our country. This is a hard fight, but I'm willing to take it up along with you. So join me as we fight for the country we love and which we are lucky to call home. We love South Africa and she's well worth the fighting for.